Joining us now is Jean Caceres, an attorney and correspondent for In Session on True TV. Jean, good morning. Good morning. Let's deal first with this judge issue. Does she stay on this case? We shall see. I think possibly she may not. Of course, she felt it important for her as per judicial canons to come out yesterday and say that her husband was a partner in the firm of where an attorney was asked to it be the attorney. It doesn't seem like the biggest conflict of interest in the world. No, but you know, if there's a conviction and there's an appeal, you don't want any appearance of impropriety. So now it's up to the attorneys. And the defense attorney, Marco Mera, said he may have an issue with it. So we'll see. Do you think judges in general don't want to touch this case? That's an interesting question right there because this is not only legally a sophisticated case, she's a brand new judge and she has accolades all over that, that she's a tremendous judge. Not a lot of criminal experience, but this is a politically charged case too. This is going to be tough on a lot of levels. And it's very public and, and yeah. a lot of people are paying attention and we've seen previously when you have these public trials where everybody is hanging on to it at the end of the day, the judge can go down as a villain or a victor. On the other hand, this is her chance to step forward and show what she's made of, and this could make her and make her career. So it's unfortunate in a sense that there is a potential conflict of interest. Does this trial stay in the Sanford area? No. No, no. way. No, no way. way. Mm -mm. Okay. Change uh, of venue. Let me, let me talk to you about uh, Stand Your Ground now. I was at this news mm -hmm. conference that Angela Corey held in Jacksonville the other day. It's clear the prosecutors are not big fans of Stand Your Ground. It makes their life far more difficult. How much does this complicate the case? For it them? is so complicated. The law is so complicated. There will be a hearing before trial, not right now, but a little bit later, that the defense has to prove that it was justified just by a preponderance of the evidence, which means more likely than not. It's not a great standard. The case can get tossed out. So, wh so why do they reach for, sorry, so why do they reach for second degree murder then in this case? I don't think why? they believe it wasn't premeditated. For first degree, it has to be premeditated. They must have believed there was an altercation and during that part there was ill will, spite, depraved heart, and he shot him. What's interesting is Craig Sonner was here on this program, Zimmerman's original attorney, and he said stand your ground. He didn't believe it would apply and that he was going to go with a different defense. So is there a sense here that maybe that other defense, given the new attorney, wouldn't pan out. Potentially. If Zimmerman was the initial aggressor in all of this, then he can't assert stand your ground. So there may be another defense. And what I don't know, though, well, I, think I was self going to say, self defense what, what might be likely here. We've heard too much about self defense. The potential jury pool has heard about self defense. How can you change it? What happens to George Zimmerman now? Any, any chance he is, uh, he is freed on bail possibly, next week? Possibly, quite possibly. There will be a bond hearing. The court will look at both sides, the seriousness of the offense, the fact, does he have ties to the community? Is there a risk of flight? Uh, I think bail could be posted. Whether he can make it or not, that's another issue. How much has he said so far to police and how much does that hurt his case? He's done an initial interview. We know about that. Possibly talked with them a second time. That it could definitely help or hurt his case. If there are inconsistencies, it will hurt. If there are consistencies, then it corroborates and makes him a very honest and truthful person. Jean Caceres, as always, thanks so much You're for being welcome. with us. Thank you.